So today we're going to talk about comparing and contrasting the kinetics of Manus boxing with Chinese sword play. Chinese sword play, known as Genshu, is redirected in nature. What that means is the double-edged, thin, razor-sharp nature of the blade calls for delineating attacks rather than impact blocks or impact techniques because it increases probability of dulling, if not breaking, your sword altogether. The Chinese sword is known to have the spirit of the phoenix. Imagine, if you will, trying to catch a bird. The spirit is very evasive, and the Chinese thing is death by a thousand cuts. So that's what we're going to talk about is the yin aspect of the double-edged sword and as it relates to Mattis boxing. The uh, first couple of movements, some thing we're going to discuss, there are, there are other aspects of dueling, other aspects of fighting, many of which can be transmitted through video footage. We can talk about technique and some kinetic energy and try to demonstrate visually as best we could, but as always, it's best to have a teacher to experience the different techniques and tactics for yourself. The now, although we're going to be discussing the type of techniques that are similar in nature, it's not so much the movement pattern that we're correlating, it's more the quality of the kinetic energy that we're examining. There may be some incidental movement patterns that are almost identical. We want to pay especially close attention to how the kinetic energy is being received and redirected, as well as applied. Now, there's going to be three main types of uh, Magnus boxing principles that we can compare and contrast. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of Peng Jin and uh, a step Madness as well as Tai Chi. We'll use the technique scooping wheel fist where it will come in here. We'll correlate that technique as well as the common the OGM technique and it's definitely going forward. Go up and in. We're also going to uh, compare and contrast the common closing door kick and forward.